Hi everybody, welcome to Aikido Flow. Now, I originally got into martial arts because I wanted to protect the people around me. I'm quite a big guy, I'm six foot two, I'm quite wide, so normally my size intimidates people. You know, I don't really get any problems, but people around me do. So I always want to learn martial arts in order to protect like people like my girlfriend. So, but what if you're in a situation where you're being attacked, you've got your girlfriend with you, or your girlfriend's being attacked, how do you defend her or yourself? Let's have a look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna be protecting my girlfriend, okay? I'd like to introduce you to my girlfriend. She's right here. Hi. Look how lovely she is, okay? In fact, hold on. Let's just cut for a while because the passion has just overtaken me. <laughs> Let's go somewhere, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, for some reason, Jason wants to get to my girlfriend, okay? Obviously, you can't find a girl as gorgeous as mine, okay? So, my emphasis is, I'm going to protect her. Wherever he goes, I want to move. See, I've noticed my hand is also on my girlfriend because I want to know where she is at all times, okay? Okay, now, the next thing I want to do, I want to back her into a corner or the nearest doorway, as far as I'm concerned, okay? Because I won't, don't want anyone coming attacking her from the side. So if I can back her off, okay? While I'm backing her off, maybe I can even cop a feel while I'm at it, push her back into the doorway, and then, you know, no one can come for her from the side. And that's great. Next thing, emphasis on moving forwards, okay? My aim is as he's coming, I want to move techniques where I'm only moving forward. So if he's coming, I can do like a sumio toshi here, or I could do a tenshinagi here. The point is, my girl's here. If he comes at me and we're struggling, and I try and do some sort of shinagi here, boom! I want my own girlfriend in the face, you know? I don't want to do that. So it's emphasis on moving forwards, so I'm getting him away from my girlfriend. I'm moving away. She's not getting hurt. She's in danger. Evan's good. I take her home and get some good love in that night. <laughs> the next scenario is, okay, I'm in a discrepancy with somebody. Now, your partner never likes to see you fight, so she's trying to get in the middle, break it up, maybe even attack my attacker. Okay, so we're here. We're having a tussle. Now, eventually, what's going to happen? He's going to turn and hit her. I want to avoid that. So in order to do that, I'll maybe do a... In a Minagi, I'm Tyson back in around him and I'm getting him to face away from my girlfriend. He's no longer facing my girlfriend, he's no longer a danger to her. She can see I've got control and I can take him down. All right, leave me alone. Hey, the video's done. Let me alone. Let, let me go. <laughs> when you're out and about, you're with like your girlfriend or your wife and you have a discrepancy, there's so many things you have to think about, you know backing your girlfriend into a corner, you know, making sure she's not getting involved, trying to jump in. Her jumping in can be a distraction to you when you're, you think, yeah, you can handle the situation, but she wants to jump in and separate you. She's getting caught in a crossfire. So there's so much to think about. So that scenario is completely different from having a one-on-one -on -one fight. So you so many things you need to take into account. So just, if ever you're in that situation, which I pray never happens to you, Think about all aspects, you know, and hopefully you'll get through without you or your partner getting hurt, okay? And don't forget, we're running seminars. We've got a seminar page, Facebook page. Look at the link below, click on it. Check out, might have a few videos there. Like the page and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to, you'll be able to join us in some seminars in the future. Take care. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs>